Hey there, Fallout fans. It's McFly back again with another Fallout 76 legendary script opening. The almost weekly occurrence where I head on down to the Rusty Pick and try to bribe the purveyor into giving me something good. If you want to follow the series and also enjoy random 76 content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. It seems we're in that calm before the storm before the actual holidays start to kick in, especially for us Fallout fans. On Tuesday we have the last Treasure Hunter event for the foreseeable future, so if you're missing anything from that loot pool make sure you don't miss out on that. December 1st we have the launch of the highly anticipated Steel Dawn DLC. I'm super stoked for that and I hope you are too. So yeah, the next month and a half is definitely going to be extremely busy. If any of you happen to watch the last Legendary script opening, I tested a new idea where I took off all the cards from my build in hopes that she'll give me something actually good for once, because my luck has been pretty crappy lately. But after doing this last week, I feel like it went pretty well, so I'm going to try it again. This is my theory, I'm sticking with it, it's all in the name of Fallout Science. Yes, science! For this thousand script, I'm going to open up nothing but three star ranged weapons. I also can't say I'm hoping for anything specific, a handmade would be nice, or maybe something exotic like a fixer, that'd be cool. And without further ado, grab a snack, maybe a drink, kick back, and maybe I can get a god roll for once. Starting us off, number one. Starting off with a bang, we got a fixer. I like what I see. It comes with plus 30% damage to ghouls, bashing damage increased by 40%, and then your vat's critical meter fills 15% faster. This isn't my favorite assortment of legendary perks to have on a fixer, but I just can't believe that I rolled a fixer on my first shot. I'm just going to hope that the luck keeps going from here. Thank you. Number two. Alright, not bad. It's a cryolator, but it's it's still pretty interesting. We got a vampire's cryolator. Gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy. Plus 50% limb damage. And then 15% faster reload. Now, a cryolator probably isn't the strongest thing to use. Personally, it's a favorite of mine. I just like how it looks and the overall idea of it, I guess. It's very sci-fi. But this isn't a half bad roll. It's going to reload faster. It's going to hit limbs harder. And then as long as I hit my target, I'm not really going to have to worry about my health as much with that vampire effect. I'm liking this. Let's not jinx it. Number three, ranged weapon. Oh, we got a big boy. We got troubleshooters Gatling laser. Plus 30% damage to robots. Bashing damage increased by 40% and then plus one perception. I've seen better Gatling lasers, but I'm also not going to write this one off. It's got troubleshooters. This effect has actually seen a renaissance recently with the daily ops and just robots hitting like a truck ever since One Wasteland was put in. And then I believe bashing damage gives you magic damage, if I'm not mistaken. And then to top it off, you got plus one perception for that little bit of extra accuracy. So again, not bad. I like this. I don't see myself going back to a heavy build anytime soon, but I like this. Number four. Now we got a furious submachine gun. Damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target. Plus 10% damage while aiming. And then 25% less fats action point cost. To each their own when it comes to a different kind of gun depending on what build you are. But I love this roll. They must have done something to furious in the past weeks because I just feel like it's gotten much better to use and then mix it with plus 10% extra damage while I'm aiming it and then everybody loves 25% less vats action point cost. That's always a winner. Number five. Alright here we got a two shot Gauss shotgun. It's a scatter shot already but it shoots an additional projectile for each of those scatter shots. Plus 25% faster fire rate and then faster movement speed while aiming. I might actually have to try this one out. I'm curious how many numbers are gonna put. And on top of that, I need to see what 25% faster fire rate does to a Gauss weapon. That perk doesn't make sense in my head when the weapon needs time to charge. I like these odds, let's keep going. Next one. We got another two shot, this time being a two shot short plasma pistol. Shoots an additional projectile, bashing damage increased by 40% with a 90% weight reduction. It had to happen, but it took a while. I think this is probably my least favorite roll of the day so far, and it's really not even that bad. 
I can't argue with this luck, but I'm hoping I'll start seeing some explosive damage. This one's very right down the middle. There's not much to say. Here we go. Another Gauss shotgun, this time troubleshooters. Plus 30% damage to robots, plus 33% VAT's hit chance, and then a plus 1 perception. Now I'm going to say the last Gauss shotgun was definitely better, but this one's not too bad either, especially if your enemy is robots. Next one. Now we got a Troubleshooter's Cryolator. It seems to be a winner today. Plus 30% damage to robots. Vats critical shots do plus 50% damage. And then 25% less Vats action point cost. This weapon is kind of like a mashup of repeats from before. We've already gotten a Cryolator and then I've seen Troubleshooter's maybe like three times already now. Though I am a huge fan of that Vats synergy with the bottom two perks. Maybe this one could fetch me some caps. Number nine. Back to the heavy weapons, Exterminator's Broadsider, plus 30% damage to Mirelurks and Bugs, a 25% faster fire rate, with a 15% faster reload. I'm not the biggest fan of the Exterminator's legendary effect, mainly because there is a perk card that is called Exterminator and it basically does something similar. It's more about armor than damage, but it's very similar. But these bottom two perks would be great on a Broadsider. Now if only I could replace that top perk to a quadruple barrel? This is definitely not for me though. Alright, last one. I've been liking these odds. I hope nothing happens here at the end, but uh, maybe I can call the shots. Can I say handmade? Handmade. Please handmade? Well, it's not a handmade, but we got a troubleshooter's 10mm pistol. Again with the troubleshooters, we got plus 30% damage to robots. There's that bullets explode for area damage I've been looking for. And then a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. I'm a huge fan of 10mm pistols, I have an alternate character that is a straight up pistol build, and already I can see myself giving this to him. I'll whip this out whenever there's robots in a daily ops or something like that. I'm also a huge fan of the 10mm, I can't wait to see what kind of interesting skins they release in the future. And there we are, that's all 10. It could be total coincidence, but I have a feeling that taking off my cards is actually working. I was extremely happy with this batch of legendary weapons, especially after the last couple weeks I've had. I'll definitely be using a few, and then I can definitely get plenty of caps from the others. As always, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Likes are always appreciated, and if you want to see more Fallout 76 content or overall entertainment like this, you can click down there on my channel and work away. As for me, I gotta find my holiday camp items. I'll catch you out there in the wasteland.